Hi there, Ian here, and today the world stood still. Not really, pero we made history today. Or should I say Elon Musk made some history today and we witnessed it. The whole world witnessed it. And ang sinasabi ko lang naman, ang tiyotukoy ko lang naman ay yung uh, SpaceX Starship. So basically this uh, this big big ass grain silo lifted off from Boca Chica in Texas. This is in the United States. And it flew. Well, tatlong tatlong beses nang nagpalipad ang SpaceX na mga Starship eh. Pero kasi etong SN10 naglanding siya. Naglanding siya na hindi sumasabog until a few minutes later. Pero ang maganda kasi dito, sumabog siya nung nakapag-landing na. So, I'm not sure what the bloody hell happened. Ang sabi daw, uh, hindi nila mapatay-patay yung apoy dun sa loob ng engines. Yung Raptor engines and all that. May mga natira pang mga uh, fuel dun. So, basically, if there's fuel, there's fire. If there's oxygen, there's fire. There's heat, there's fire. So, nandun ang fire triangle. And, uh, basically, SN10 exploded. Lifted off a bit. Did a, did a little belly flop and then it just died. So, alam, nakakatuwa lang. Kasi, pinanood ko yung uh, stream ni Tim Dodd, the everyday astronaut. Putik, siyam na oras din yun. <laughs> siyam na oras. And, come to think of it, mga kababayan, this was at night. Okay? Patulog na ako ng gantong, ano, ng gantong oras. But then again, while I'm doing my work, kasi panggabi naman ang trabaho ko, I kept him on the background. Pinapanood ko yun. And, uh, man. Wow. <laughs> wow lang. Sobrang, it's just bonkers. Akala ko talaga, ano eh, Lilipad lang, tapos sasabog pag landing. No, it stuck the landing. It stuck the Brr. fucking landing. Lala, natutuwa lang ako kasi, I mean, <laughs> nata, I mean, sobrang, sobrang hysterical ko nung nakita kong buo pa rin yung SN10 nung nag-landing siya. So, um, kung alam niyo yung, ano, YouTube channel na Madam Info, uh, yung intro niya, uh, parang parang feature niya doon sa intro niya or laging intro niya yung starship so uh, parang launch dito launch doon and then yung pang finale ay eh, yung magla-landing so the reason why I'm uh, <laughs> holding this pen actually hindi na dapat to eh kasi dapat eto eh so I'm not gonna name a brand here or whatever <laughs> basta sabihin natin ano to Ito ang Starship. Ito ang initial position niya na lift off. It lifted off. It has three Raptor engines in it. Isa-isang pinatay para para hindi masyadong bumilis din kasi 10 kilometers lang yung ceiling nila or yung apogee nila or kung yung taas ng lipad nila. And then, dun sa nag-iisang Raptor engine na, ano, na <laughs> gumagana pa, para nag-hover siya eh. Nag-hover siya and then until pagpatay yung may fins dito tas meron ding fins dito it did this <laughs> so nag belly flop maneuver belly flop maneuver and then para nag glide siya pababa na hindi ganong ano hindi ganong bilis at walang horizontal speed kumbaga para naisip mo parang pababa siya eh, na merong angle ng konti ganyan pababa gumaganyan lang siya para lang ma-balance yun let's say skydiver ka para para hindi bumagal yung ano mo yung pagbagsak mo pag talon, pag talon mo sa aeroplano gumagadon ka yung tipo na yung naka spread eagle ka na ganun kasi it it creates drag okay 
I am no I am no science guy. I'm I'm not some kind of scientist or rocket scientist at that. Uh, pero meron din ako may may alam din ako ng physics sa mga napag-aralan ko noong high school. So I, parang it's basic science na uh, yung ano yung area ng mass area mo eh uh, kumbaga uh, it affects your ano it affects your uh, it affects your speed sa gravitational pull i don't wanna deal with it or double with this uh, that much pero uh, kumbaga to make the long story short imbis na yung ano yung pag ganito na landing profile ng Falcon 9 yung ano nila yung staple rocket ng SpaceX pag ganito siya so gumagana yun siya and then on the on the landing itself this is the absolute bonkers thing pag landing they light up at least two of the raptor engines alam ko parang ano eh meron din suggestion na um paganahin yung tatlong eh, tatlong raptor engines and then yung isa yung pinaka least optimal na ano engine yun yung papatay nila after a few seconds uh <laughs> gaganin yung ano yung raptor engine then and then magaganon siya from belly flop tapos pag ganun din yung landing para uh, matulad siya sa profile ng Falcon 9 and uh, it would land on its um, on its engines uh, basically to quote Tim Dodd the everyday astronaut they will they should la- be landing uh, pointy end up flamey end down so ganyan so ang nangyari it landed everyone's celebrating parang <laughs> uh, everyone's opening their beers and all that and then a few minutes later parang ano nga eh tagilid mag-landing yung ano eh yung starship na to eh a few minutes later boom <laughs> bye bye SN10 <laughs> so nakaka nakaka ano lang nakakatuwa na nakakatawa na ano yun na nangyari yung ganun so wow wow lang hindi ako makapaniwala na naglanding ang isang grain silo. <laughs> grain silos can fly and now grain silos silos can also land. Isipin natin itong starship na to eh kasing taas ng uh, ilan sa mga building sa Makati. Siguro mga 14 story, 14 story, 14 story building sa Makati. Ganun siya kalaki. And then, parang ganun din yung, ano, yung lapad niya. So, just imagine one of the skyscrapers in Makati. Parang ganun yung size ng starship. So, uh, nung sumabog ang SN10, um, <laughs> everyone was just shocked in disbelief. Na ba? Brrr! Ah, naglanding to, ah. Bakit sumabog? <laughs> but then again, Elon Musk uh, somehow is uh, a bit uh, a bit really just uh, he just wanted to demonstrate this and besides he has a lot of uh, Starship prototypes to spare uh, nakalinya na ang SN11 ilaunch na siya in a few weeks or in a few months bahala na uh, sayang lang at hindi gagamitin nila itong SN10 uh, because of the fact na sumabog siya but if it didn't explode ano din naka ano din nang nakapanghinayang din na hindi siya ano hindi siya papaliparin ulit or at least man lang ay maging museum ano maging museum piece so everyone uh, is expecting that SN10 in its current state right now which is uh, absolutely uh, just uh, heaps of scrap metal uh, would be would become a museum or uh, would be installed in SpaceX's museum or at least in their headquarters in Hawthorne uh, in California. So nakakatuwa lang na talagang these things kind of kind of happen and it's just absolute bonkers. <laughs> Sobrang alam mo yun yung pa alas 7 ng umaga yata data dito sa Pilipinas nangyari yun. 
everyone's awake pero may mga natutulog pa rin pero buti na lang at hindi ako ganun ka ano di di ako ganun narinig din ng kapitbahay i was really i was really screaming my sh- scream the shit out of myself at hindi ko alam kung paano ko i-edit to uh, i'm i have to edit out the i would have to bleep out the <laughs> the expletives but then again all that monitoring while working it's all fucking worth it <laughs> so yun lang uh, i guess uh, there's no other way to say this but i'll have i have to go so uh, with all that said this is ian reminding you that at all times be the salt of the earth and the light of the world until then look up look down look alive and stay alive and as always See you next time. Ian out. <sighs> right. Uh. Para may nakalimutan yata ako. Hello? Sino to? Elijah Boreros? Ano yun? Si Spark Fardasio? Sino yun? Teka, ang weird. Alam ko ba siya ka ni Kong TV, pero baka di yun pinagtatanggol mo siya. Ah, okay. Gets ko na. Sige. Ako na bala. Ako, si Kapitan Tohanan. At ang video na ito ay isang panawagan kay Spark Farnasio na mas kilala sa pangalang Boy Totoy. May ilang mga kababayan ang nababahala sa pagpapapansin niya kay Lincoln Velasquez na mas kilala bilang si Pong TV. Ayon sa mga nakalat na impormasyon na ilang si Pong sa ginawang pagpapagawa ng Billboard and the Farnasio na inyahiling tulad ito sa ginawang Billboard and Zian Baza nang inanyayahan niyang mag-coffee day sila ni Erich Gonzalez mga ilang taon na ang lumibas. Ito ay isang panawagan kay Farnasio upang magising na siya sa katotohanang hinding-hindi mangyayari ang inaasam niyang collaboration day ko o sa alinman sa mga kasamahan niya sa Team Payaman. Ito rin ay isang panawagan sa lahat na mag-subscribe kay Kong TV at ipaabot ang kanyang YouTube channel sa 10 milyong subscribers. Hanggang dito na lamang. Kapitan Tohanan out. Power, peace, at para kay Boy Totoy, <coughs> Bakit nandito to? Hindi ko naman to ginamit.